Last December, we bought 150 chickens. About half of those were meat birds and half of those were uh, egg layers that the kids are going to raise. For those, we needed to build, first and foremost, a broiler pen for the meat birds. We used Joel Salatin's broiler pen design and it works, but not perfect. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We just, we don't yeah. have the tool that he has. It's like a custom welded tool to pull the spoiler pen. Yeah. And instead we were just lifting the whole thing and moving it. And just recently we finally figured out that we could use a furniture dolly to help us move the broiler pen. Just so much easier. Yeah, poor man's version of Joel's welded dolly. But yes. I mean, it's essentially the same thing, just not customized. Our kids wanted to get all of these egg-laying chickens because they want to do a chicken breeding business, which means we have multiple breeds and we need to build chicken coops for each of those breeds, but we want to make it mobile because we're really big on having our chickens on pasture still and moving them every day. We have so <laughs> many different breeds. We have 12 different breeds that we need to build uh, 12 different coops for. 12 different coops for basically. I guarantee you I did not sign up for that when we bought them, <laughs> but that's how many need built. So over the years, we have built a lot of chicken coops. We built an A-frame chicken coop, which is actually meant to be a chicken tractor. And that one we still have. Just doing my, uh, my biannual repairs. <laughs> Sorry, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Wait. Use it up. Oh. Wear it out. Oh, yeah. Make it do or do without. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> and then we built a garden chicken tractor so that the chickens could graze in the garden without damaging any of the plants. And then after that, we built one that was just made of wood scraps that we had laying around. And the last two fell apart really fast. And the A-frame has lasted the longest of all of them. However, yeah. the A-frame has its issues. It is not very predator proof. It is hard to move and it's very heavy. If we were designing like a stationary coop, it wouldn't be as difficult as designing a mobile chicken coop, which has so many different elements that you need to address. And that was the problem with this chicken tractor, the first one that we built. It was supposed to be mobile, but it wasn't yeah. functioning very well as a mobile coop because it was so heavy. We wanted to come up with a design that addressed all the issues that we had had with our previous coops. Yeah. And it was good that we went through all that with the others because it helps you to know exactly what you want for when you're building future coops. Nice. Okay, so for that, you want shorter screws. Okay, I'll move up here. What? I'm going to take these, put them here, and then nail them so that they cover all the spiky stuff.
when we butchered all of our meat chickens, it opened up this broiler pen, which we've been using temporarily until we get all of the coops done. So all of our egg layers are actually down in this broiler pen. And then looks like we have some extras down in there too. Three extra chickens today. Good. <laughs> we need to get the egg layers moved out of that broiler pen ASAP because they just started to lay eggs. <laughs> And of course we thought we would be done by now, but that's how it goes with homesteading. You think you're going to be done in X amount of time, so fast, canning, gardening, oh yeah, I can totally do that in a short amount of time. And it takes you like three or four times longer than you thought it would. So that's how it's going with these chicken coops. It's taking us quite a bit longer than we thought, but we'll get them out there. And the reason we don't have them in like an electric fence like this is because we learned really fast that some of the breeds we got are really really good flyers and even if we clipped their wings they would fly right over the fence and also some of them are still pretty small so they would go through some of the holes in this fence as well <laughs> I was excited that I found this roof, this ridge cap. Left over from our house roof, so I'm gonna use that um, for our chicken. We're getting ready to take out the chicken coop. It's all ready to go. Now to turn, you guys have to legitimately lift your end and turn it, yeah. Because the wheels are fixed, so it's not steerable very. Look at that! <laughs> it's like a little go-kart. <laughs> Wow, that's easy to move, huh? <laughs> I do not want to go down. Okay. No help for the rest of the night. Oh, Batman for an adult, but I'm going to squeeze in. Thank you for building the coop. You're welcome. Nice to have more space for the chickens. Right there. Right there's good. First one coming out is a <laughs> Very cautious. <laughs> Cautiously coming down the stairs. <laughs> Uh, I want to point out on the outside, we have recently shifted from chicken wire to fully hardware mesh. We had a smaller chicken tractor with chicken wire and we thought everything was good and secure, but a raccoon was able to reach its hand through and, and kill all the chickens. We would rather be a little overprotective than not. So hardware mesh on the outside. Uh, we have converted from wood shingles on past coops to this very lightweight corrugated plastic there's many different versions of lightweight water shedding materials you can use uh, this is just what i had laying around quite honestly and so it's what we went with if you have an egg laying chicken coop you need a access door to collect eggs this is ours and a simple fold down and you access it from the outside so without interrupting too much of what's going on in there, grab the eggs. Oh, 
There you have it. On the front and back, we have these lift handles made out of wire and PVC. So you see how easy it rolls. They just grab onto the handle and move it. Oh, you're coming with me inside. Okay. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get, yeah, I did. Okay. Okay. So two things to mainly to show in here. Um, right next to me is their ladder access up to their coop. And when they're all in at night, we simply close this latch up there and this doubles as the, the door that keeps me in So kind of a dual purpose ladder door and it works great. Probably our favorite upgrade to this coupe is the wheels that I have put in so that it is mobile. I mean, this is a game changer for us. So the nice part about this upper portion is that it can be completely closed off once you pull up the ladder, it's predator proof on that inside. Because on the bottom where the wheels are, it, you can see it's just a couple inches off of the ground and that can be enough for something to get through. So I wanted to have this upper portion where everybody was safe at night and at the same time have wheels so it was easy to move around. So another feature on the wheels is you'll see a lot of coupes where they simply bolt an axle that sticks out here and then the wheel can be put on and off essentially. Those that I've seen and even tried, the axle tends to bend, there's just not enough support. And so I built mine on the inside and, and put some blocking here so that the axle has two uh, points of contact, I guess and that allows this wheel to just be sturdy, more sturdy and rigid and not bend in any way. Thank you. 